There are two main buttons on the top menu bar to do the inspection. First one is snapshot, which is used to take the image of the sample to be measured. And second is inspect, to do all the measurements on the part. After you have kept the cable sample on the work table, you have to follow the following two steps to measure the sample. Step 1, click snapshot. The moment you click the snapshot button it will take the picture of the cable sample to be measured. In this case it is a 6 core round sample where we need to measure the thickness at 6 places. And then calculate the minimum thickness, average thickness, ovality and eccentricity etc. Step 2, click inspect. The moment you click inspect, boom. It will do all the measurements in one click and show them on the image. You can see all the six measurements of thickness are done. And the markings of the thickness points are shown as D1, D2, D3 up to D6. And the minimum thickness is also indicated. In the same program you can keep any other shape at any position. Say we keep a sectoral sample. Click inspect. Boom. All the six measurements done. Now keep another sample but this time slightly on the side. After that click inspect, measurement done. Now keep another sample at different location and at a different orientation. Again click inspect, measurement done. So no matter whatever is the position or orientation of the cable sample. If it is in the field of view it can be measured. Similarly you have one more round sample. For this also, click inspect and all done. For reporting there are tabs at the bottom like operator where you can add operator and part details, label and report etc. First tab is operator. You can add the customer details like for example the customer name is ABC Cables. And then you can write in the address say the customer is from New Delhi and you can also add the reference number. After this you can add the operator details, like operator name. In this example we take operator name as Pawan. And then we can add the operator ID say 14 in this case. This whole menu is customizable. You can add or delete any number of fields in this. You can also add the cable type etc. You can add the cable name as cable 6 core. And then add the number as 1101. Then we move to the next tab that is part tab. Here you can enter the name of the part and the part number. You can add the details like production line number and drawing number. That is you can customize the fields according to your choice. At last you can click the report button to have all the results in Excel. The report format is fully customizable. You will have the part and the operator details at the top. In the middle you will have the image with thickness marked. And then you have the thickness at 6 points, average thickness, outer diameter, minimum thickness and eccentricity. You can add more field like maximum thickness etc. If you have multi-layer EHV cable sample, the process is the same. Click snapshot and then click inspect. You will see the thickness at 18 points. 6 in outermost layer. 6 in middle. And 6 in the innermost layer. Here also you can add operator details, part details, and then click on the report button to see the report. Supposingly you have another shape of sample. Say 2 core flat cable. Click snapshot and then inspect. All the 6 thickness measurements that is 3 in each core are done. You can also see the result of diameters of the 2 cores and the neck width. In this case also. No matter whatever is the orientation. Just click snapshot and inspect. Now let's go a bit into the details about how the measurements are done. 
let us open up the profile of 6 core cable sample again. First step is to locate the inner contour. Let us just zoom and see the accuracy of the points detected. You can see a yellow color contour. And then we locate the outer diameter. After this we calculate the minimum thickness of 10,000 points on the cable sample. And then at each crest, say thickness at point 1, 2, 3, and so on. We can also display the results of each and every thickness. From all the measurements we calculate that the minimum thickness, and that is also displayed in the center. This system measures the thickness at 10,000 points and then gives the result output. We can see all the points by turning the option on. You can see all the thickness measurements in red and yellow color lines. Because of so many points this system is not only more accurate but more reliable and repeatable. The variation of results between two operators is negligible. Also no training and skill is required to measure the cable sample, just click two buttons and your job is done.